from Spy TV. The Nigeria Police Force in the last two weeks has recorded remarkable achievements across the country with the arrest of 92 armed robbers and 153 kidnappers, the rescue of 35 kidnapped victims, recovering of seven stolen vehicles, the arrest of nine suspected cultists, and recovering 44 arms and 477 ammunition of various calibers. Force Public Relations Officer ACP Ulumiwa Dejobi disclosed this while parading suspect for various offenses as a result of operative successes, most especially in combating crimes and criminality, managing civil and social challenges like the recent labor protests, rescuing kidnapped victims, busting gun running syndicates, and many more. A total number of 44 arrested suspects were paraded with seven AK-47 rifles, nine automatic pistols, 1,804 rounds of live ammunition, a POS mansion, assorted illicit drugs, and one Mazda salon car. Given a breakdown of the progress recorded by the operatives of the Nigeria Police Force in quelling the menace of banditry, kidnapping, and other sort of in-house crimes occurring across the country, the Force PRO said the Nigeria Police Force is confident that the aggregate of personnel efforts towards combating crimes will in no time erode a more secure and peaceful Nigeria. These syndicates, I don't know how they got these machines. The, the machines they use fabricate rifles perfectly. I'm going to show you the AK-47 rifle they have made, how beautiful the rifle can be. So we, we have them again with us, and some of them are on the field helping our operatives to recover more and pick more suspects concerning this case. Where do you live? I live at uh, just South Local Government area of Plateau State. Okay. How did you get that factory? How did you come about the factory? I am an engineer waiting for application. Engineer? Welding and fabrication. Uh, welding and fabrication? Yes, sir. How did you get those machines? It's, it's, it's meant for uh, uh, circular business. That is, uh, you can use it. Uh, most people went and buy it to use it to repair uh, block engine, to, to create a shaft and so, some other things. We used to even fabricate and install for company, company, company equipment, that is company uh, For how long have you, been, have you been using them to make guns? For how long? 2019, sir. 2019? Yes, sir. Can you remember how many guns you have produced so far? It's only nine, 19 pieces because that is not my work. I used to do my... Uh, but, but you are aware that they have produced 19 rifles so far? Yes, sir. You are not the only one operating the, the, the machines? You have somebody else operating the machines? I am the only one, sir. You are the only one? Yes, sir. And so far, you've been able to produce 19 since 2019? Yes, sir. How many people here now, besides you, have sold rifles to? Uh, I have sold to, to three, two people. Two people? Uh, what did they tell you they want to use the rifle for? They said for self defense that people want self defense. To come here. Yes, sir. But now that you have been arrested for supplying your guns to bandits, what do you have to say? What I have to say is that uh, the the end users have have derailed from the main purpose of which the the pistol has been fabricated for. Okay, no, you that you are fabricating these pistols, do you have license to do so? I don't have license, sir. But you're not expected to be involved in harm dealing and kidnapping at Sutai Bali local government area of Tarava State. The operatives buckled down and arrested two persons, identified as Modo Aruna, male 28 years, and Buba Roa, male 30 years, both at Tarava State. 
Subsequent interrogation and investigation revealed that Buba Roa had been in possession of 12 AK-47 rifles about two years ago, but was intercepted by police operatives while returning from an operation and had fled and managed to escape with just two AK-47 rifles. The other suspect, Modo Aruna, confessed to being in possession of a single AK-47 rifle and also belonging to a syndicate that specializes in gun running and cattle rustling. Why did you start this business of selling guns? You know Salam? What did they tell them to do, the gun? What did they tell them to do? In Nigeria, do Kiana. Your your properties. Who gave them to you? I will buy them. You buy them for where? For TV. For TV language. TV. Tell us where are you from? Where are you from? Naga Kwara. Naga Kwara. Patigi. Patigi. You live there or you are from that? That place. He lives here. Which state are you from? State He's from Adama State. You are from Adamawa. You live in Niger. And you went to Ekiti to go and kill somebody. You can see the movement. It's just like that. You can see the movement. I, I veto you, let them face the camera. Let them face the camera. What they do is more social infraction, social etiquette, this, this, this location. Because they must see them so that they are the neighbors. We know them. So when you see their neighbor neighbors, and you see their friends' friends, you will know they are the same thing, you can shout. I think uh, anti-violence supposed to have some suspect to us. Who has been bust him? Where are they? Bring them. It's the same thing. Bring them. They said their husbands are coming. They are women. They are going to tell you the story behind this business. They do. I'm, I'm doing shifting chair. Shifting chair. Yes, sir. When I was come out in the money, I will carry four people in back. And plus one woman for front to push me, and I will look for one person to carry more. In the process that I carry, there another person for front. When we go small, and I tell my fellow person that is in front with me, say, I better shift, I just adjust for me small, let me shift the chair. Because there is tight. In the process, then they adjust. That is where the person's phone can lose. It's only what I can be able to do. It's only phone that I'm still in, sir. I don't do anything more than that. There's this motor, small to carry two people in front. Please, should enter another motor. In the prison, much break when they go down to enter another motor, that is where I will find my way. Nothing more than that, sir. In my own, in my own, I'm not withdraw money, sir. If when I took the phone, I, I, I come out the same car through it. Now it's only the phone that I say, sir. See the mark on his face. He did the business one day, one chance. The victim was bold enough to mark him this one, to struggle. He's a mark. That is it's another right. proceed. <laughs> Of one, one chance. Where's the peers? That's the peers they use. We are going there. We are going there. Give your wife. He's not my husband. The peers is my fiance. Peers. He uses it for side business. He uses his work is interrupt work. So when he has work, like uh, interrupt. Interrupts, like all those blocks. Interlocking. Yes. Okay, interrupts. Okay. Yes, he uses for his own business. I was in my house when they called to arrest me, and they now saw the POS, they pick it. It's not mine. I have never known how to. Who has the POS? It's my fiance POS. Your fiance POS? Yes. Okay, what job does he do? He has, as in, he's working in the site work, as in, he works those blocks that they put on the floor, on the ground. It's a rock work. Yes, and he's using it too. What's the, what's the business between the two of you? 
I used to help his girlfriend at home. This is, this is own girlfriend, I'll be wife. He is his girlfriend. Okay. Before last early early last year I was working with them. Early last year. They used to do shifting chair, one chance. Shifting? Shifting chair. One chance. Oh, you are aware of shifting chair, one chance. Yeah. You know you another grandma. Yeah. Shifting chair, one chance. One yeah. chance. Okay. That one that they complete in the in the motto, in the very cool. That they used to work in the that was the work I used to follow them before I work. But, my but you, are, you are doing that business too with them? Yes, I used to do The only thing beside the peers not be your own. Yes, it's my fiance. So how, how sweet is the business? My fiance advised me to stop it. That before you stopped, how sweet? What and what have you gained? I have not gained anything because the money they give me is, is even Small. only top money. How much do they give you? At times 7,000, at times 5,000 naira. So my fiance advised me to stop. True. Okay. Give, give that uh, shifting seat one chance. Yes. Is a How do you do it? Use the mic very well, don't worry. We go sanitize them. carry a, a passenger. We we'll carry one person. One person. One house, please. Four at the back. So we, the next person will enter the front car. When they enter the front car, they will not ask you to shift the. the they, they will adjust the seat to the front. The, to the front. So when the two people are sitting touching the dashboard, the dashboard, then the driver will say you should shift the seats, go back so that they will be balanced for the seat. So on the way shifting the chair, maybe you will ask the, the woman, let me help you and your back so that you can shift the chair very well. Hmm. So on the process, we remove the phone. Hmm. So that is what we do. Husbands announcing the arrival of husbands. <laughs> they are here. They now salute for them. Yes, how, how did you get the vehicle? I purchased, I collected it, sir. I purchased? Yes, sir. From who? The, the man no, is not alive again. We have a to die. The man is not alive again. We have a to die. The man don't die. I so are you, are you paying to the family or to the company? No, I was already pay finish before they even get out. You don't pay finish? Yes, yes, yes. What, how did you pay? Instrumentally? Sir, now the work I use pay, I'm having no license. Oh, now this work? Yes, sir. He said, he say, what now? He said that the one chance work, he take pay for the vehicle. He said, no go lie. Yes, sir. Not, I, I don't think he's a purchase because he said the man died, and he has paid finish. I don't know, but now I just confess that he will not lie to me, as that the Jew that uh, he used the money from one chance to pay for this vehicle. It's true, sir. Husbands, give. The men. How many people we don't do one chance for bros? Miss Ko. Hello, sir. How many people we don't do one chance for? I can't remember, sir. Eh? You can't remember? No, sir. Hey. Um, I'm What's your name? What's your name? I'm Monday and I got David. Pardon? Monday and I got David. Monday and I got David. Yes, sir. Where do you live? I live in Kagani. Where? Kagene Kuba Express. Kagene, Kagene Kuba Express. Yes, sir. Zuba people, Abuja people see their faces. Yes, so when you know people that are close to them, be careful. Be careful. You can imagine the number of people they have recruited. They have it like a school to train them. This woman, step forward. Yao, stay here. Stay forward. They step forward much. This one. Na, na professor in the business recruiting them and teaching them how to go about it. And I think Nigerians take note of this, not only in the Federal Capital Territory, in all our big cities. One chance is everywhere there now. Certain in the month of September 2023, a handwritten letter was dropped at his wife's shop with the inscription, leave Abuja immediately. They are after you. There is a big hit on your family. Take your kids and run. Just a warning. End of quote. This had prompted him to take his family and relocate to his sister's-in-law's place. But the threat continued and he even received a message from an unknown number asking him to sell his house and leave Abuja immediately or risk being kidnapped. On sensing the severity of the matter, 
He filed a legal report, and the operatives of First Intelligence and Department, STS, quickly strong into action and arrested one Edu Divine, tw female 27 years of age. Investigation revealed the suspect has a close family friend and neighbor of the complainant, and that she had initiate, initially collected the sum of 14 million naira from him under the guise of reporting a crayfish business with the promise of investing it on his behalf in his business and returning it with profit. She had earlier done same to several other people under the same guise and after lavishing the obtained sum of money and realizing she could not pay back, she decided to defraud the complainant to pay the people she had hold. She had falsely obtained an estimated sum of 24 million naira and upon realization of her inability to pay back, she started to scare tactics to draw the complainant out of town. So he could not request for the money back. She had even advised him to go ahead and sell the house as suggested by the supposed anonymous text after he had told her about the threats and the text. At the first, it, I took it for the purpose of business. But when I couldn't meet up, I used it to pay people that I have already told that I will give them their interest. This man, they said, is a family friend that you know him and you are a neighbor to him. Yes. What led you to this tactics to obtain money from him? Why? I took it at first for the purpose of business. But since it didn't work out, I didn't know what to do again. So you actually now did that so that he can run away so that he will not remember the money again. Isn't it? Yes, sir. Is that good enough? It's not good, sir. As a Nigerian, as an African man, why must you do that to your neighbor and a family friend? I'm sorry, sir. Well, that's another lesson for all of us. Keep to your immediate family, oh, not the move of friend up and down. Your wife, your children don't do you. If you got siblings, they do you. But this one, we say, my neighbor, my neighbor, my neighbor, my neighbor, everything, my neighbor. I think you can see now. Gaskia ba ni magana da ndindiga. Amma wanda nake magana da shi shine na mada a garin mu an kai yeshi dan dan uwana ne. He is working with them. Yana da bindiga amma ba cikin gari yake ba. Shi shi yana daji ni kuma a gari nake. Adejobi said the Inspector General of Police, IGP Uluka Yodi Egbetokun, has charged the men of the force to remain resolute in discharging their duties and ensuring all necessary measures and strategies are being implemented for a safer environment for everyone. Olayemi Esun, for Spy TV.